So this is a response, a video back to the post of Hadas Reshef on Erev Rav blog about videos on five that was taking place in Kalisher Institute or the CCA, the Israeli Contemporary uh, Art Center in Tel Aviv. Um, one of the things that one of the main questions that Hadas is asking is um, how we should present video video art. Um, and and video art is is a is a communication way. It's a it's a medium way to present art. And then what is art? And art is a, is a communication way to pass a thought, a feeling, an uh, experience, an idea, and to give other people uh, an epiphany or to give them wisdom, um, an experience. And then how come? When every now after the media revolution, which each one of us is a is a content producer, we each we all have in our phone a camera that can take photos or can take videos, and every minute on YouTube there's 35 hours of video being uploaded to YouTube. So there's a lot of them, and what and what makes a video into a video art? What makes it interesting, and not just some someone who's sharing his video um, just to entertain himself, or or maybe to to get famous or to be popular? I think uh, one of the the best examples for it it's it's a video art of Eva and Matisse that was uh, actually projected a couple of months ago at at the Kalisher exhibition which called uh, Better Than Real Life and it's the, the video art um, called Suicide on Chetralit and for me it's the best example of um, of the today's present which we all seek for immediate stimulation, excitement, sensation uh, and what, what can what can Example it uh, in a better way rather than you go out on that video chat and boom, you hit death of someone you don't know and you can't even help him somewhere else. And and I mean, you can see the reaction of the people in the chat for it. Uh, it's it's really interesting one. And yes, it made um, well, it got removed from YouTube, but someone uploaded in a different version. It got like a million hits in a pretty short time. Um, Another thing that she's wondering is 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 about is the experience. Yes, we all want and seek for the experience, and and I think the little video from Prometheus or Prometheus on on YouTube um, is a, is a good example of of the future. And the future is going to be about experience and the experience that you're going to provide or maybe sell to other people. Um, and this is what we're chasing after. And and one of the things that that give the most experience is interaction and interactive. And yes, if you're given or attaching a microphone to a television that doesn't do anything, it's bullshit. Um, and a good example for it is is um, the new startup by the artist Yoni Bloch that got launched, I think, a month or two ago, uh, an interactive video that lets you choose and. And let you, the viewer, control or or give you some kind of a control within the path that I want to show you. I, the artist, want to show you and lead you through. Um, and then, you know, within the last couple of months, the, uh, after the Guggenheim exhibition, the YouTube uh, exhibition at the Guggenheim Museum, the big question is, uh, and that's also the question that Hadass doesn't talk about in the post, what what is good and what is bad and what should be defined as art and and it's one of the, the main uh question and and these days we we moving towards more and more into the age of artists as a curator and we can look at that and see it in the project of kutiman that that uh through you that was uh, projected projected at the, um, the guggenheim and in which that Kutiman wasn't the artist. Kutiman was the genius curator that collected all all these videos from these um, secret artists or you know not uh, familiar artists or artists that doesn't have recognition and, and deconstruct them and reconstruct them into a way and to put them into new pieces, which also brings big question about copyright and what is yours and how can you use other people 
um, work, especially when work these days build one upon each other, and not just art. Any, if you look at any cell phone or any computer, the number of patents in it, it's, you know, it's enormous. And you can't just like, oh, you know, um, just build it without putting it together and using other technologies and build a one upon each other, one upon each other. Um, so, yeah, I had a couple other ideas, but I just want to finish up with, with a work of Roy Rosen that I saw a couple a uh, couple of weeks ago, um, and I think that the name of the work, let's just switch to another window, maybe you can see my fingers, well, Confessions coming out soon, and I think, yes, definitely, a lot of, in the future, the way we're going to present video and share it with other people, yes, the galleries and the museum are there to choose and to decide, but it's not always like this, and it's going to change. And it's the new media revolution. Be there, be square.